The hot day didn't stop people in Milam County from keeping thousands of tires off the streets. Our KRHD News reporter Hannah King has the story on how they're combating a local issue of illegal dumping. Milam County leaders say they've had enough. We want the county to be a nice, clean place. We have to do something about it. County Judge Steve Young says they currently have 10 cases of illegal dumping pending in court. On top of charges, he says there is also a fine of up to $200 a day for those who are not in compliance. We can put people in jail for felonies. In fact, we just had one felony conviction for legal dumping last month. Um, and we can as I just mentioned, we can take control of one's property and we can sell the property to recover our money. Now, I don't want to do that. That's not what we're about. I don't want to have to do that. But if somebody blows us off and said, hey, man, I'm not going to do it, then I'm going to do something about it. He's talking about trash, tires and rubbish. This weekend, the county provided residents a legal way to get rid of it. Saturday, Milam County held their first tire cleanup day in nearly two years, and they collected almost 10,000 tires. A lot of people appreciated that we had it, it helped them clean up their yard and helped clean up Milam County. It was really a great day. Tires come from everywhere. I didn't realize there was this many tires in Milam County. The trash isn't just noticed by county leaders, but by born and bred residents who say it's the worst it's been ever. It's basically the worst that I've seen in areas. Like I say, when I grew up here, you didn't have that kind of dumping. People bringing tires in, dumping it. We, we've even seen them hide their tires in uh, mobile, old rundown mobile homes. The county has now installed a number of surveillance cameras so they can monitor trouble spots. So we can catch them. So we're going to have proof of who it is, and then we're going to prosecute them to the full extent of the law. In Milam County, Henna King, KRHD News.